Okay, so let's look at interpreting the unit rate as slope. So we've already talked about slope, and we know that when we're looking at slope, we're looking at rise over run. So if someone told me that I had a slope of, say, 6 over 2, and I needed to find the unit rate, that means that I'm going to take that 6 over 2 down to one unit, which means I want to know what happens when this bottom number is 1, or what happens at 1. I can do that by either reducing this to 3 over 1, or I can just say 6 divided by 2, and either way, that gives me 3. And so my unit rate for this slope is 3. That means, say it was running 3 miles per hour, you would be at 1 hour, you would be at 3 miles. Okay? So if we're looking at this, they're going to walk, and they're going to walk 10 miles um, in 5 hours. So we're going to put 10 over 5 because they're running, they're walking 10 miles in 5 hours. And if we reduce that, then we get 2 over 1, which comes out to be 2. All of those are the same. So that we've just taken our slope of 10 over 5 and found our unit rate of 2. Okay, when looking at a graph, we are going to find our slope first. And so we're going to find our rise over run. I think I'm going to go right here. These are um, going up by intervals of 1 and over by intervals of 1. So I'm going to do rise, 1, 2, 3, 4. Over run, 1, 2. So rise over run is 4 over 2 which means my unit rate, again, will go down to 2 over 1, and that will come out to be 2. Okay? It's not really hard. Pretty simple. The main thing is you've got to find where um, you can um, find a spot to find your slope. That, I think that's the hardest thing for everyone to do. If I look here, I'm going to go here, and Scott is hiking and we want to know how much he hikes an hour. So we're gonna say one, two, three, and that's our rise. And then we're gonna say one, two, three, four, five. That's our run. And this one's a little bit harder to get down to one, but if I divide three by five in my calculator, then I come out to 0. 0.6. So in an hour, he's gonna be at 0. 0.6 miles. He's not gonna be quite a mile, um, 0.6 is less because a decimal is less than a mile, um, but he'll be at 0.6. Let's look at Rebecca. She's hiking too. And let's find a place where she crosses. I'm going to go way up here. And I'm going to say I'm going to rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 is my rise. And I'm going to run 1, 2, 3, 4. Four is my run. Same thing when I divide that out. Nine divided by four equals 2.25. So in one hour, she is at 2.25 miles. She's going 2.25 miles per hour. That is our unit rate. Now, I want to show you one thing because I've showed you how to use the calculator to find your slope, and we are always talking about slope when we're talking about unit rate. Um, you can put this in your calculator, and that's fine to give me the slope. If you do that, it's going to come out to a decimal, so your slope and your unit rate will be the same. But if I look at this, my top is always X and my bottom is always Y. So if I look at rise, rise would be on my Y, so I could put 6 over my run, which would be 5. And then if I take 6 and divide it by 5, I come out to 1.2 for a unit rate. Okay, so you can do that either way with the table. You can throw it into the calculator or you can put your rise over run. If you have any questions, please come see me during tutoring.